It's a story that made national headlines. And now two Ohio fishermen admit to cheating to win a tournament. Their admission came the same day they were scheduled to go on trial. Kevin Freeman from our Cleveland affiliate has the latest on the walleye tournament plea and punishment. So we're here now concerned to matter state of Ohio versus Chase Comiskey and Jacob Runyon. 43-year-old Jacob Runyon of Ashtabula and 36-year-old Chase Kaminsky of Hermitage, Pennsylvania, appear in Cuyahoga County Common Pleas Court Monday to start their trial, accusing them of cheating in a local fishing competition. But before a jury was seated, they struck an agreement with prosecutors. Mr. Kaminsky, let me start with you first then, sir. Uh, how do you first plea to count one of the indictment as charge? A count of cheating as a felony of the fifth degree. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Uh, Mr. Runyon, how do you plead to count one as indicted a charge of cheating as a felony of the fifth degree? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty, Your Honor. Both men pleaded guilty to a count of cheating in a sporting event and unlawful possession of a wild animal. Kaminsky also agreed to give up his $100,000 bass boat and trailer. In exchange, prosecutors dropped two other charges of attempted grand theft and possessing criminal tools. It's just what we do. Winners win. September of last year, the men were competing in the Lake Erie Walleye Trail Tournament in Cleveland, which drew fishermen from surrounding states to see which team could catch five of the heaviest walleye. Runyon and Comiskey appeared to be the winners of the nearly $30,000 prize until the tournament's director noticed their walleyes weighed more than they looked. When they sliced open the fish, officials found 10 weights, eight weighing 12 ounces and two weighing eight ounces, in addition to several walleye fillets. But we're hoping this conviction cleans up the sport of tournament fishing, not just in, in our county or in our state, but, but nationally. People will see that if you cheat in these type of events, you will be held accountable. Prosecutors are recommending the pair receive six months of probation with a three-year fishing license suspension. I went to jail. They committed multiple felonies. Uh, they should have gone to jail. I don't have to follow it if I don't want to. Uh, I will say at this point in time, uh, I'm not certain as to what I'm going to do. Kevin Freeman for News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.